This meeting will come to order. Madam Recorder, please call the roll. Alderwoman Madison. Vice Mayor Key. Here. Alderman Adams. Here. Alderwoman Arnold. Here. Thank you, Madam Recorder. Fellow citizens, will you stand with me? And if, if the Vice Mayor would, please lead us in prayer. We'll be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. In the name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord, in the only way we know how, asking you to please forgive us for all of our sins. Lord, we thank you for all your wonderful blessings. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. Lord, we thank you for how you look beyond our many, many faults and you see our needs. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will continue to watch over us, the balance of our families. Lord, I ask that you bless this meeting. Lead us, guide us, direct us in the path you will help us to go. And, Lord, let every decision we make, God, be pleasing unto you. And I will be so careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' holy name we pray. And everybody said amen. 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 Thank you, Vice Mayor. Lieutenant Smith, will you please lead us in the pledge? I pledge to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and Merry Christmas. I'll go ahead. Merry Christmas. I'll go ahead and say that. Welcome to our monthly Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting. We'll move on then with recognitions, proclamations, and awards. Uh, there are none for this evening. So we'll move on to the first item on the agenda, which is the discussion and action approval of monthly meeting minutes uh, of September 5th and November 7th, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, the board, uh, the recorder, and I apologize to you for this. Uh, the, uh, month, the monthly meeting minutes of September 5th upon our recollection, were not voted on. So we have brought them back before you this evening to look at. Uh, we are not in a hurry. If you want to take a few minutes and look at them, uh, I feel that the, the minutes have been properly accounted for and accorded, but obviously we want you to look at them too. Now, you in your packet was contained the minutes from the, the November 7th. And again, the reporter and I profusely apologize. These were overlooked, and we want to go back and complete the record. Raise the motion to approve the minutes from September 5th, 2023. Motion to approve the minutes of September 5th. Uh, are you going, uh, Alderman, are you going to just do one set of minutes at a time or are we going to we do can, September 5th first? Or? We can do both at the same time. All right. Would you mind to withdraw your motion and make a motion for both sets of minutes? I'll withdraw a previous motion and raise the motion to approve the meeting minutes from September 5th, 2023, and the November 7th, 2023 minutes as well. Thank you. A motion to approve the minutes from September 5th, 2023, and November 7th, 2023, by Alderman Adams. Is there a second? A second. Second by Alderwoman Arnold. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none. Madam Reporter, please take a vote. Vice Mayor Key? Yes. Alderman Adams? Yes. Alderwoman Arnold? Yes. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. Again, uh, members of the board, 
reporter and I profusely apologize for this oversight. Next item on the agenda is the first section of public comments. Would anyone like to come to the podium and speak? Ma'am, please state your name and address for the record. Rebecca Brawl, 660 Kentucky Avenue. Um, I just wanted to say hi and let you know uh, the Family Committee has been working on the 2024 calendar. And I wanted to thank Sarah especially for being here with me tonight. Uh, we wanted to give you all a copy. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. Of course, this is tentative because we don't know what's going to happen next year. But this is the plan that we have so far if nothing happens. And um, also, we wanted to let you know of this year's events we have coming up. Uh, we have the Christmas decorating contest going on now, and that's for residential and business. And we actually uh, decided this year to give monetary uh, prizes for the residential ones, the winners, the first three top winners. And um, we also have the business category that will get a, a gift basket as well on a plaque. Um, that needs to be entered by the 15th of December, and we will announce the winner on Christmas morning. Also, we have our caroling planned for Friday, December the 15th at 6 p.m., and anybody, spread the word, anybody that could come out and be with us, we would welcome anybody. Um, we will meet at the Thomas Memorial Library, and we will probably do the same route as last year. We'll cross the street go down singing to the rescue squad, then cross the street and come back. And we just ask if anybody can spread the word of people they know on Main Street to turn the porch lights on if they want us to actually stop and sing at their house. But that's all that we had. Do you all have any questions? That's December 15th? For the singing. Uh, Carolyn. Singing. Mm -hmm. What time does it start? At? Six o'clock when we're going to gather okay. at the library. And we just usually do it at the parking lot. We gather together. Um, and sometimes we bring candles, um, lanterns. I can't think of the word, lanterns. And just we just walk down the street and sing carols. Yeah. So if y'all don't have any questions, thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Brawls. I would like to thank the Bluff City Family Committee for the good job you're doing. Great work. And I thank you all. And anything we can do to help, please feel free to reach out. Thank you very much. We appreciate your support. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. All right. Would anyone else like to speak during this first section of public comments? Hearing none, we'll move on to the next item on the agenda, which is discussion and action employee <coughs> vacation buyout. Ladies and gentlemen, board, we discussed this in workshop just this last evening. For the record, I will state some facts uh, about this request as soon as I find them in my stack of papers. Here we go. So what we propose to do, if the board approves, is that we propose to, uh, instead of taking vacation from our employees that have exceeded the 160 hours according to our policy that this time the board would make a decision to pay them for those hours. Uh, this affects three em employees that we spoke about in our work session last night and the total uh, amount of this payout would only be $1,173.14 for three employees. That will bring us in, it back into compliance uh, with our own policy of not allowing our, our employees to carry any more than four weeks of vacation at any given time. Uh, I also bring this with a commitment from the town manager, from me, that we will act more actively police this as well as three department heads to ensure that our employees are enjoying their time off, their, the, the compensatory time that they do have, and we'll enforce it more readily. So are there any questions of me uh, in the town manager role concerning this request? <clears throat> if not, I would entertain a motion. Motion to approve employee vacation buyout. 
A motion to approve by Alderman Adams. I'll second it. Second by Vice Mayor Keith. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, Madam Reporter, please take a vote. Vice Mayor Keith. Yes. Alderman Adams. Yes. Alderwoman Arnold. Yes. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is discussion and action of ordinance number 2023-013 and ordinance adopting the Title VI Legal Manual, Civil Rights Division, Department of Justice as the town's compliance manual. Uh, allow me to elaborate on this before I pass this over, Mr. Fry. Uh, this is uh, also would include a policy of limited English proficiency, a policy uh, for unisex restrooms, and well, now my memory's failed me. The uh, the third policy would be for. No, those are the two policies. Limited English proficiency and unisex restrooms would be inclusive in this, uh, in this ordinance. And those are just policies which could be memorandum for record from the town manager. The ordinance stands as is. As, uh, as the board will remember, last night in work session we had some uh, very uh, good discussion about this ordinance. Uh, the the manual, the legal manual itself is lengthy, but it, it, in, it in short is the civil rights manual that is already federal law. So with that, uh, I would entertain a motion. <clears throat> As you have, thank you. Mr. Fry, please publish your ordinance. Whereas the Board of Mayor and Aldermen desire to comply with all state and federal regulations and whereas the state of Tennessee requires municipalities to be in compliance with Title VI policy in order to receive monies, be it therefore ordained by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen of the Town of Bluff City, Tennessee, that the Title VI legal manual be adopted in its entirety by reference. Thank you, Mr. Fry. Now, uh, I would entertain a motion. A uh, motion to approve Ordinance 2023-013. Motion to approve Ordinance Number 2023-013 by Alderman Adams. Is there a second? I'll second. Second by Alderwoman Arnold. Is there any further discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, Madam Recorder, please take a vote. Vice Mayor Key. Yes. Alderman Adams. Yes. Alderwoman Arnold. Yes. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is my report. Uh, I will be brief. Uh, first portion of my report, I'd like to ask Mr. Austin Smith, our, now our town engineer, to come up and brief the Matter and Craig report. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, it's good to see everyone tonight. Uh, I believe everyone was here last time I was here, but for those that weren't, I'm Austin Smith. I represent Manor and Craig. Um, status report of Manor and Craig's efforts on town projects. Uh, first thing is uh, Main Street water line, Railroad Street sewer, and the garage pump station. Um, as of now, all, um, all are complete, and we are working through the final paperwork to close those jobs out. Um, Second, we have the uh, ARPA grant applications. Two grant applications have been received through FTDD, one for the wastewater treatment plant improvements and one for some additional sewer line replacements on Carter Street. Um, let's see, 90% uh, plans and specs have been submitted to the town for review, uh, and we are awaiting the electrical subcontractor for the uh, water treatment plant, and then we'll proceed. Um, Randy did have a note here that uh, we are considering finding another electrical sub uh, to do this work. So I would appreciate that. So this that, is uh, this has been going on for a little while. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is uh, so. <laughs> that is being taken under consideration. Um, next, we got uh, the asset management T deck application. Um, two additional applications have been filed to T deck 
through FTDD and complete asset management plans for both the water and sewer systems. Uh, this is a special pot of money that would be 100% principal forgiveness, um, and we've had word that these will be awarded at 75% with a 20% match. Um, we will handle the second round of application process, and uh, these must be completed as a condition of the ARPA grants. Um, next, we have uh, the dog park survey. Um, uh, we are currently in the process of preparing a proposal to survey that property off Dry Branch, um, and we should have uh, the mayor should have that to you by the end of the week. Thank you. Um, and then last but not least, we have some town paving uh, projects. Um, we're currently looking at some uh, possible options for funding some pavement work throughout the town, um, looking for funds available for helping uh, pave local and town roads. So. I believe we have a meeting scheduled next Friday. Next sir. Friday to, to yeah, discuss fourteen hundred hours. <laughs> I'll look forward to that. And those are all the items on my list. Um, any questions from any of you guys? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Uh, to complete my report, uh, the uh, just a few highlights. Uh, uh, again. Uh, I can't say enough about how well the three teams are doing. Uh, a blue team, uh, Lieutenant Smith is going to brief for them this evening. Uh, I'm not going to take away his steely thunder, as they say. He's going to tell you some incredible things. Uh, Allen and the red team uh, just can't say enough about how much we get done every single day. And we do it with a smile. Alan and his team do it, the work, with a smile. And they're, they uh, are never too busy to engage with our citizens or our water customers. And, and just, uh, uh, I, I tell you, we are very fortunate. And then uh, Sharon's team, the white team, uh, those ladies uh, can work hard and be nice at the same time. Uh, I, I get nothing but compliments, uh, no no bad feedback, compliments on the wonderful customer service that they receive. Our, our customers, all of our customers, citizens and water customers included, or even those who come in to satisfy an offense such as a citation on how nice they are, how helpful they are, that there's no waiting uh, and if there, if it takes 30 seconds to get to them, somebody acknowledges them, I'll be right with you. Uh, same thing with phone courtesy. Uh, the phone here, Sharon will tell you, it rings off the all day long, every day. Every line's lit up most of the time. And uh, uh, can't say enough about three ladies that work over in Sharon's team. Uh just a couple of other good points. Uh, we did complete the audit, the external audit. Uh, we're looking good on the audit. More to follow in, in January. Uh, Sharon and I reviewed four, uh, first four months financials for the town, uh, according to our budget predictions and revenue compared to that, and the town is in good financial shape. Uh, Finally, uh, just want to remind everyone of the Christmas parade this Saturday. I am stoked for the Christmas parade. We, uh, it looks like that we're going to have a heck of a turnout. Uh, it, a lot of folks have affirmed they're coming. We should see more floats, more cars. You know, we've invited veterans to come and bring any conveyance they'd like to come. So, uh, it, it's big old, as I said, it's a big old family reunion. I, I, I guess some of y'all probably feel the same way. I've been attending that parade. I'm fi I'll be 59 in April, and I can't ever remember not attending that parade uh, I, I, as a boy. Uh, I remember being there, and I had to get up over somebody to see the parade. So uh, it's a wonderful thing. And uh, well, I, I also I want to echo the vice mayor in thanking the family committee. I mean. Uh, the town this year has been on fire with events. There's always something going on in Bluff City. And, you know, that's like uh, I talked to Senator Lundberg today on a different subject. 
But uh, he w- he was just nothing but good stuff to say about us and the things. Uh, it resounds all the way to Nashville that Bluff sees in a renaissance. So I was really, really glad to hear that from him. Uh, finally, uh, no, I just, uh, as I always do, I want to thank the board for allowing me another month in a leadership role here in the town. And uh, I do, I, I consider it a privilege to serve the board and the citizens that elected me. Thank you so much. That concludes my report. That moves us into the second session of public comments. Would anyone like to speak? Thank you. Hearing and seeing none, we'll move on. Report from Mr. Fryer, town attorney. I'd like to uh, wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year, and I thank you for your service. Thank you to the citizens who serve. Mr. Fry, the board reflects the same to you. Uh, you. You are an asset to the town. There's no doubt about it. All right. Next item on the agenda is our financial report. Miss Sharon, if you would, please. Fund balance. As of October 31st, 2023, general fund, $2 million. Two hundred and sixty one thousand four hundred and fourteen sanitation fund twenty two thousand seven hundred and fifty four special police fund twenty thousand six hundred and thirty debt service fund one hundred one hundred and thirteen thousand eight hundred and seventy six sinking fund three thousand ninety four dollars water sewer fund one million fifty seven thousand eight hundred and seventy one. A total fund balance is three million four hundred and seventy nine thousand six hundred and thirty nine. Thank you, Madam Recorder. Ladies and gentlemen of the board, do you have any questions concerning the fund balances? If none, I would entertain a motion to approve. I make the motion to approve. Motion to approve the fund balances by Vice Mayor Keith. Is there a second? I'll second. Second by Alderman Adams. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, Madam Recorder, please take a vote. Vice Mayor Key? Yes. Alderman Adams? Yes. Alderwoman Arnold? Yes. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. Next on the agenda is Department Reports. First up, Lieutenant Kevin Smith. Division Commander of Specialized Operations is on deck. It's, a long time. <laughs> it's big. It's kind of like the office, isn't it? Oh, it is. If I'm a regional sales director, <laughs> I'll rank. Exactly. Good evening, board. Um, November was a killer month for us. Uh, those guys stayed busy. I thought last month was phenomenal, but they always tend to pull something out and surprise me even more. Um, this is probably the best month of November. I've seen in all my years here, and from what Chief said, it's the best November he's ever seen in 20-plus years here. Um, we had 160 calls for service. Uh, we issued 283 citations. We issued 137 warnings. Um, this number blew my mind. Uh, we patrolled as a group 9,616 miles through the city for the month. Um, those guys just, they don't stop. They're always somewhere at every given time. Um, uh, we had 31 arrests on the month, uh, 28 offense reports, uh, dealt with 10 alarms. Again, another month in a row that we had single-digit accidents in the city, and that's because we are staying proactive out there on the streets, and we finished with uh, only working eight accidents this month. We had four animal calls, 17 MSD reports, had three funeral escorts, um, had zero domestics also for the month, which is always good. Um, zero vehicle seizures, no missing persons, two DUIs, and a stat that will always make me happy is we had 10 drug violations this month. Um, since I've been back in the role I have been for the last couple of months, we've been hammering down on the drug issue in the city, and it's paying off. It's quickly paying off. So. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of these guys and the work they're doing. So 
all we can do is continue keeping our head strong and getting out into the community and building good relationships with the public and trying to deal with the issues when they come in front of us. Do you all have any questions for me? <clears throat> well, I have any questions, but I want to just say kudos. You did an excellent job, and uh, you all represent very well in court. Uh, I tell you, it's, I know I'm on the defense side, which is <laughs> a little weird, uh, but you all do an excellent job when, when you're in court. I appreciate it. Um, on top of uh, it's a great report. Yeah. And, you know, keeping our town safe, that's amazing. Love it. We've got a great group from top to bottom. Uh, I really enjoy working with these guys every day. We're good. But thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Smith. Excellent brief. Next step is. I apologize. There's one more thing I forgot to mention. Sir? Uh, every year, the Tennessee Highway Safety Office holds an award banquet. Oh, yeah. Thanks for remembering. And there's the West Region, Central Region, East Region. So we're in the East Region, and it is every town, city, county, and even THP. Uh, east from the Knoxville area all the way over uh, with all the departments. Um, at the end of every year, the whole East Region comes together, has a banquet, and they give out awards. Um, our department was honored to get an award from them in 2020 uh, for an officer, and then um, we were honored this year, and it's going to be next Wednesday, uh, Officer Dalton Rogers uh, got DUI officer of the year for the whole East region. Um, so I love seeing DUIs and especially when you can go out there and win this award as small as a town and department we have to outdo the highway patrol, your major cities and counties, that says a lot for what we do and especially dealing with DUIs. So he'll be accepting that award next Wednesday in Greenville. But that was it. Sorry. Thanks, sir. I'm glad you remembered that. Next up is our public work supervisor, Mr. Alan Moultrie. Good evening, Mayor. Board. Good evening, sir. Um, in the water plant for the month of November, the water plant is operating normally, pumping an average of 253 gallons per day. Our water tank level was at an average of 46.9 feet, with 60 feet being full. The water plant was down for a total of eight hours for the month. The cause of that was, I mean, due to uh, a frozen transducer that prompted the plant to shut down. Uh, the transducer has since been uh, replaced, and it is operating uh, without uh, flaws at this current moment. Uh, when we uh, move over to the sewer department, the sewer department is operating well with there being no overflows for the month. Um, we have seen significant improvements throughout the sanitary sewer um, when it comes down to overflows or anything uh, with high well level alarms. We haven't been getting any of those since the uh, garage pump station and the force main has been uh, upgraded. So I would like to applaud us for getting that done finally. Uh, in the street department, city workers are working hard maintaining with the leaf uh, and brush pickup throughout town. Our designated day for brush pickup is Wednesday and Thursday with work orders taking top priority. Um, now we are at the time of the year where uh, we will be out salting and scraping the roadways uh, on icy and snowy days. Uh, for those who park along the roadways, be mindful of salt and debris may get thrown onto your vehicle, so please be mindful of us while we're out there working. Uh, uh, other than that, uh, the month of November overall has been a great month for us. We did have a few little hiccups with the water plant with the transducers going down, but beyond that, uh, we have been running strong. Um, the whole crew has been getting a lot done. Um, the leaf and brush pickup has been a little bit of a challenge, but we have been uh, getting through that. Uh, I'd say we're probably still at 40% uh, throughout town that needs to get done still, but uh, we are still working hard and progressing to get that completed. But beyond that, uh, it's been an awesome month, and I hope we uh, go into the month of, well, we're in the month of December. I hope we make it through uh, flawlessly, and uh, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas if I don't see you before then, which I 
pretty sure I will uh, in passing, but uh, if I don't, you all have a Merry Christmas. Uh, but other than that, if you all have any other questions or any concerns, please feel free. Thanks so man. Right. Thank you yeah, Alan, it was an awesome month because of your leadership. Oh, well, we're trying. Uh, you know, eight hours in 30 days. Yeah, that's... And that's... we've bought significantly less from Bristol Bluff. Also, uh, just and Sharon will remember this, we enjoyed our about the lowest uh, Bristol sewer bill that I have saw in my time as mayor, 15, 16 months as mayor. So we, uh, the I and I seems like it may be clearing up a little bit. It's, it's either it's clearing up or I'm yeah. just going to be thankful for the drier weather. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. So thank you. Great job. Thank man. you. Appreciate it. All right. Next up, finance and administration. Ms. Sharon, do you have anything for the board or public? Just letting you know that. Most of February, we'll be start training on the uh, next gen software. We'll get started on that in February. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Thank you for all the good work that you do. Uh, next on the agenda would be the county commissioners. I don't see any county commissioners present this evening. So we'll move on to the board mayor and alderman comments, and I'll belay to my good friend, the vice mayor. Hello, everybody. First of all, it's good to see you all. And I'm learning not to take anything for granted, so I just want to take the time and say thank you to my board, fellow board members. Thank you. And uh, I am, very, you know, we had some bumps and some scrapes, but it takes that to get there. So we are strong and united and. I'm looking forward to this next year coming in and moving forward and getting some great things done. And we still got work to do, Bluff City, but we can do it. We can do it together. And once again, I want to thank the family committee. I don't take you guys for granted, and, and your work is not in labor. I, you wouldn't believe the people that has called me, even some of my family members that live out of town, because they see your post on on there, and they say, Bluff City's kicking it now. And that, that makes me feel good, and I'm hearing good things. So let's continue to stand together. Let's continue to stand united and not be divided and move forward in a good way. And if you need me, all you got to do is reach out. Just a phone call away. God bless you, and have a merry, merry Christmas, everybody. And remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Ben? I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, another really solid month uh, from the town. Uh, we're just—it's good to see we're making great progress in a lot of areas. Uh, wish everybody happy and safe holidays, and look forward to a new year starting strong. Thank you, Ben. Miss Lisa. Well, first of all, Merry Christmas, y'all. And I, I too want to commend the the family committee. And I'm looking at these. These calendar events, and I'm really excited. And I know you volunteer your time, and you put a lot of time into it. And I just want to say thank you for that. All right, thank you very much, Miss Lisa. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the board, at this time, let's address any old business. Is there any old business we need to address? Well, I guess it would be called old business, what we discussed yesterday. I will be looking further into that that we had talked about. Yes, ma'am. That and uh, Alderman Adams, you hadn't had a chance to check it out yet, have you? Unfortunately, I did not have time today, but it, I will have ample time tomorrow. Okay. Um, We'll Maybe in January we can move forward on this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll figure we'll figure something out one way or another. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Any other old business to discuss? Hearing none, is there any new business to discuss? Well, Mayor, if I could say this, I would like yes, to ma'am. thank you for your service and thank you. because the mayor he does work at the pleasure of the board and I am thankful every time I hear him he always thanks the board for another month and I know you work hard. It's a I lot try. of work to do and I just want to say thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate I'll that. Second that. Thank you, Ben. Thank y'all. It's a, it's like I say, it's a privilege. 
It's a privilege. It really is. And it's a privilege to work with such consummate professionals as I do in this staff that we all serve the board. Uh, 23 of the teammates, uh, oh, that is a ladder on the ground. Uh, everybody here in the entire blue, red, white team uh, – We'll pick up a piece of trash or they'll stand before the governor. We can do whichever one you want. I appreciate that. All right. Any other new business we'd like to discuss? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. Hearing and seeing no more business, I declare us adjourned.